Ice Cube was the talk of the town not too long ago when he was talking about sitting down and talking to the president about what he called the contract with Black America. And do you realize that there are still people who don't understand what the contract with Black America was, e America was even about? They have absolutely no clue. See, social media presents these people. They're called morons. Yeah, they comment on stuff and say, why, who cares who Cube talks to? Well, Ice Cube didn't come up with the contract with Black America by himself. He had scholars. I had one of them on my show. But here's the point, and here's the point of their contract with, with Black America, that we can devalue Black lives and interactions with law enforcement. It's not a leap to understand how Black lives are devalued in larger political economy. And in fact, because we have limited resources, that limits our power and our ability to fight back when we have um, interactions with law enforcement that are lethal and, and immoral. To me, that's the bigger point, of a bigger point, that we can link the manner in which simply by having an identity that's stigmatized, you know, in Black, that, that a priori any type of transaction you engage in is you, you are less than someone else. The contract with Black America is not written by the Ice Cube, the rapper or producer. It's by a team of people. He's just a, he's just a person with the platform because he's been in the show business for 30 years. So he's using his platform and his notoriety to get on TV. Here's the thing, guys. There are a lot of smart people out there, much smarter than you, I, Cube, Snoop Dogg, all these people, right? Here's the deal. But they don't get Media attention. Because media don't want smart people. They want people that, good for, that are good for ratings. This is what the media wants. You think they want you coming on their show, messing up things? So just because a person's smart and has a lot of answers doesn't mean that person's ever going to get platformed. Doesn't mean they'll ever get to speak their truth to power. You know how many great organizations there are? doing great things in the world right this second. Right now, at this very moment, there are organizations doing great work, sheltering the homeless, taking care of abused women, taking care of abused children, children helping veterans get off the street, helping, helping addicts um, um, who are addicted, saving their lives, preventing suicide, uh, doing these things right now, this moment, scouring neighborhoods, picking up people that are dying in the streets, this moment right now, but guess what? Ain't nobody talking about them. No one's covering them. So, so, my uneducated person needs to know this. When a person like Ice Cube or any other star uses their cachet, they can be very useful because they have a platform. People will listen to them. You heard that, you have Dan Chappelle say, what would Ja Rule do? He's mocking the fact that people even care what Ja Rule would do. And that's how messed up it is in America. So that's the importance of star power. That's what it means. That's all it means. It doesn't mean that they know the stuff front to back, that they are subject matter expert. They have a passion for it. They're concerned about it. And they can bring in those other people, those subject matter experts. They can bring in the people that have the knowledge, the wealth of understanding, the training, the talent, the ability, well-versed. I try to do it when I present you with Dr. Sandy Dirty. When I present you with Dr. Cornel West, I'm doing the same thing. That's what I'm trying to do. You don't need me to talk to you. You need the professors to talk. So. So anyway, Ice Cube wanted to be with whoever was going to win the election, anybody, right? To talk about things that the black community needs to stop being so on the bottom of this economic floor in America. And we all know that Donald Trump had his people. Cube never met with Trump. Biggest smear tactic in the world. They, they had memes of Cube hanging out with Trump. He never met Trump. He didn't hang out with Trump. He met with some people that worked with Trump's administration. He didn't go do a photo op like Kanye. I get pissed off because that's the truth. So anyway, he, you know, he talked to Trump's people. People got mad. Why would you talk to Trump? Well, if Trump would have won, we would have been stuck with him for four years, right? Got to shoot your shot. He also wanted to talk to Biden. Well, guess what, guys? I'm leading all that up to say Ice Cube to meet with Biden to discuss the contract with Black America, folks. Give it up for that. 
Ice Cube announced. He announced. He has plans to meet with President Joe Biden to discuss the contract with Black America. I'm happy to hear this. I'm happy to announce that this is going to happen. Um, now that Biden is officially the president of the United States, the rapper has announced plans to meet with him and his new administration on the Ryan Cameron Uncensored Show. Now, he explained, that Cube explained on this show program on the Magic ATL radio show that the Biden, a Biden admin reached out to him. Joe Biden didn't call him up. His admin called him up. And he said something. Like this. And Cube says, here goes Cube's quote. He says, yeah, yesterday they reached out to me. You know what I'm saying? They just reached out. We got to set the meeting. We're starting to figure out when we can have this meeting and how we're going to have it. He explained. He also spoke on bringing the experts with him to hopefully make some concrete progress in the meeting. I would love to bring in the specialists I have and the experts. Yay, yay. I have to see what we can do to start moving this ball down the field. What's up? So anyway, guys, that's what's going to happen. I'll keep you up to date what happens with developments of the Ice Cube and Joe Biden meet up about contract with Black America. And I'm going to tell you guys, I'm not excited about it. I don't expect much to happen, but I'll update you. Yeah, it's been my experience that the Democrats, they tend to use black people as ornaments, not so much as policy deciders. But hey, let's cover it. What the hell? Let's give it a shot, Johnson. Don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Don't be fooled by corporate media talking heads misleading the people. Get your news and information from an entity that keeps it real. Tim Black. Tim Black is the host of The Tim Black Show. Independent news that leaves you informed, inspired, and sometimes entertained, but always in the know. Go to TimBlackTV.com and sign up today. The Tim Black Show is news for people who can't stand the news. See you there.